It has been all over headlines for the past week. President Obama says he supports gay marriage. And in response, former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney says he believes marriage is between a man and a woman. And while those positions might not surprise you, what may is that both men had been on both sides of the issue. Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. President Obama saying he supports same-sex marriage has captured just about every headline for the past week. When every pundit says this election is about the economy and jobs, this issue has dominated the discussion. The president, addressing students at a college in New York, said this. The announcement I made last week about, about my, my views on, on uh, marriage equality, same principle. You know, the, the, the basic idea, I want everybody treated fairly in this country. But has President Obama always felt that way? While running for president in 2008, then-Senator Barack Obama said this to Pastor Rick Warren. Define marriage. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. Now, for me as a Christian, for me... For me as a Christian, it's also a sacred union. Uh, you know, God's in, in the mix. But it was last week when the president did an about face, too often referred to as a flip-flop, first saying over the years he's been sensitive to the fact that for a lot of people, the word marriage evokes powerful traditions and religious beliefs. He didn't say this time around that he's one of those people. And then he went on to say, For me personally, it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. So candidate Obama believed that marriage was between a man and a woman. President Obama seeking re-election believes in same-sex marriage. But it didn't take long for Republican candidate Mitt Romney to weigh in while speaking at Liberty University. Now as fundamental as these principles are, they may become topics of democratic debate from time to time. So it is today with the enduring institution of marriage Marriage is a relationship between one man and one woman. But has Romney always felt that way? When governor of Massachusetts, Romney said that he was against gay marriage, though he was the one who had his legal counsel issue a directive to the justices of the peace that they must perform same-sex marriage when requested or face personal liability or be fired. Here's the backstory. Romney says back in 2003 and 2004, he was only following an order by the Massachusetts State Supreme Court to allow same-sex marriage in Massachusetts. But is that true? It is true that the Massachusetts Supreme Court did issue a ruling in 2003, and in that ruling, four points were made. First, the Supreme Court acknowledged that the current law in Massachusetts did not permit same-sex marriage. It said it was not striking down current marriage laws. It declared that not allowing same-sex marriages is a violation of the Massachusetts Constitution. And most importantly, the court ruled that it was not changing any laws. It gave the state legislature 180 days to take action that it may deem appropriate. Now, an important caveat here. In Massachusetts, the court is not allowed to weigh in on certain subjects. It's written into the state constitution. And one of those subjects is marriage. That's why the court left it up to the state legislature to decide, because the court had no authority to do so. Well, the legislature didn't do anything. And so after 180 days, then-Governor Romney ordered the justices of the peace to begin performing same-sex marriages. Romney's staff, they held training sessions for town clerks, warning them to implement the court decision and uphold the law. Romney directed his Department of Public Health to change the state marriage license to read Party A and Party B, replacing the terms husband and wife. But again, none of this at the time was required by any law passed by the legislature or even ordered by the court. And that's what you need to know. This issue is about as political as you can get. And when you really boil it down, it isn't even about same-sex marriage. It's about two candidates who have both stood on either side of this issue when it benefits them. Right now, it would appear they have each chosen their latest positions, not on conviction, but on the narrative of the next election. And that is Reality Check. If you'd like to make your voice heard on the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page. You can find it by searching Ben Swan, WXIX.